Okay, I guess this angle is fine for the unboxing. Okay, first thing we're gonna remove my cute little MacBook Air. It's still with me, so no problem. And let's get this big box. Whoa, what is that? I think I'll move my Bose speakers. Let's start. A lot of, a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Quite a big box with lot of unwanted paper. A big carton for this but guess what this carton will be very helpful for my DIY project. I am doing a butter paper light system as the bill. And this is what we have here. Open sesame. Oh boy. Is this the new age power supply? It looks like a power bank. As a typical unboxer, never show the product first, show the peripherals. Way to go, 150 watt clearly says that. Three pin plug socket, very important. So this is always going in your backpack whenever you're carrying this gaming laptop. Uh, okay, information how to open it and everything basically uh, i would read out but i'm too excited to what this i i thought this gaming laptops are supposed to be heavy duty and and crazy as hell like they should be heavy this is not that heavy i thought it'll be very heavy okay anyways uh, it's not gonna be my daily carry it's for mobility that's the reason i went for it i'll explain in a separate video uh, if you all want me to review this because today is just unboxing so don't expect any gadget talk happening I'll just show you the product this is my new HP gaming laptop which is called Inspirion uh, let's remove this plastic that feeling of doing this oh my god I, I, I sound like any 12 year old kid man you know the reason why I'm so excited guys Four years I'm buying a laptop. That also a gaming laptop. Okay, so this is oh my god, look at the look at the plastic. It's like premium quality, you can see it. I can kind of see the fans, they're right here. So the vent is nice, straight near the fan. And um, this is the front look. I am glad I got the silver one. I was getting a lower variant with the purple uh, reflection which was 256 SSD but I wanted 512 SSD without a doubt and yes this is a Ryzen 5 uh, which has I think 6 core so that's pretty good and now the main thing let's open it up so I know cinematics for unboxing because I'm too excited to do this boom oh my god do you see this panel 144 hertz yeah the refresh rate is crazy it's not 60 hertz it's not 120 hertz it's 144 hertz and that's why i went for this because of the display and let's move this omg this is so much like stealth you know this is so stealth and i think i should now change the camera angle okay folks so this is my Full keyboard, I can't believe I have such a big display <laughs> compared to my 11 inch MacBook Air. Okay, so this is my new HP Pavilion gaming laptop. As you can see, looks really nice and good feel. If you guys comment down below for a review, I'll explain why I went for this. Yes, this is uh, quite an upgrade from other HP Pavilion. As you can see, it has a GTX, I think it's a 1050Ti, which I wanted. Ryzen 5 speakers by BO, which is um, used in cars like Jaguar and stuff like that. I did hear about this. Uh, oh, oh, it is three dimensional. Okay, so what you see the design actually there's I don't know camera can't show it properly, but actually it it there's a, like you know it, it there's an impression it goes down at every uh, point which is down. So it's completely three dimensional. This is actually the speakers which I really like. I don't know, but the keyboard looks so sophisticated, so nice, well well laid, and a heavy duty machine. I wanted the refresh rate because if I'll be doing light gaming, this is perfect for me. If I'm bored of editing and I need a break, I think this is perfect. And look at the thin bezel around, so cool. I know you guys are anticipating start car, start car, but this is all about unboxing. Today is not a review. 
the HP logo looks good. Let's see what's here. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is where the exhaust is and all your outlet comes from there. So on the left side, I get a charging port and a USB. Okay, C port right here, which is uh, very important nowadays. And yes, Ethernet port, which you can open and put the jack directly. A USB port, I think this would be a 3.0 assuming that and that is your hdmi right here which is important if i'm plugging it on a bigger screen yes i am planning a big screen here too that's the reason i went for this and i know this is a small thing but for me a sd card slot is very important i hate carrying dongles around yes it does have a 3.5 audio jack too so if my bluetooth headphones are screwed i can use my basic ones which will never die on me and my edits won't stop so i went for a very practical purpose this time and it opens with one hand that's really cool and if you guys really want me to review this i will review it obviously i need a couple of days to work on it put my softwares in it and i'm swapping from a fcp to a premiere pro yes i will be using premiere pro and that's why i bought this i needed both side of the world to be on the safer end i will still use fcp for a couple of vlogs in fact this one also you will see in my fcp edit but the next vlog which i am planning to visit a showroom to ride a super bike i think that vlog will be edited here i am happy that i have a 15.6 inch now my eyes won't squeak that much which used to happen on my 11 inch screen okay so why i went for a gaming laptop and why did i go for hp pavilion uh why didn't i go for macbook pro 2020 you all already know about this i have done a vlog before this if you've not seen and while i do the review i will kind of compare it but but honestly speaking macbook pro is macbook pro at its place but this one is also rocking at its place and it's better that i switch to premiere pro because this is not sponsored this is purchased by me yes this is my new machine new baby to work on and uh, yeah mobility was my concern yes i'm sure you guys must be like 72000 rupees you would have actually got an entire setup done very well here in fact double the things about this in fact more than even macbook pro however i want mobility and yes it's not a daily carry if it was daily carry i would have gone for something lighter but this is not about daily carry i would need my laptop to be shifted once in a while if i'm doing expedition ride or somewhere i'm planning to travel where i need to carry it then i need a laptop but it's not gonna be daily on my shoulders because this would be heavy because it's around two kilos or something like that i feel very light i i didn't expect it to be this light i thought it'll be heavy it's quite sleek compared to gaming laptops i thought it'll be thick bulky because that's what people keep telling me but so you can clearly see the size of this laptop it's not that thick yes it's a little conventional looking like a old school television which i really like and up to review mein pata chalega aap logo how my gaming experience is keep watching my vlogs you'll always get updates about it okay so this is not a comparison but uh you can see the difference of the screen size <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy and uh, this was 11.3 or 11 inch around and this is 15.6 and yes guys y'all are documenting the first start now i don't know if it's charged but i'm putting oh chiclet keyboard full set as you can see not full set with numpad which is good for me that's a huge Oh. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows. I was like, let's go for it and it has everything what I need. And yes, I will be upgrading my RAM to 16 GB. That's the maximum it can go. Currently comes with 8 GB. Um, 8 GB of RAM, 512 SSD, which is really good. The best part is that I can have one TB of SSD connected to the other port, uh, basically the other socket which is empty which i will eventually do it in six thousand rupees so i'll add up some more money and make this machine like a tank uh, i'm actually very excited that's why i didn't uh, use any cinematics because i want to first put everything inside and now let me go eat well sleep well be good signing off raj from ragmodo mm -hmm.